call me dad. <laughs> the fiddle of gold. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Chicago Reacts. My name is Lauren and today I'm going to be looking at season one, episode five of Has Been Hotel. It's called Dad Beat Dad. I think this time we're going to be meeting Lucifer, which is very exciting. I also think he's played by Jeremy Jordan, which is even more exciting. Cannot wait for his song. It's going to be a banger. Um, I do hope that this episode uh, kind of, I don't want it to follow in the intensity of season f of episode four because that was a that was a lot um and i think it was important but it was a lot so i hope that this one is a little bit uh more chill i guess but also that it does what episode four did and it focuses in more on one storyline rather than trying to do a whole lot of them really quickly like this episode three did um, cause I liked, I liked the songs in episode three. There was a lot that I liked about episode three. I loved Alistair, everything Alistair did. Um, but there was like some other stuff in that episode that I just felt like was really, really rushed and it didn't need to be. Um, especially cause we know that they have a second season. So like, I just, I hope that they have pulled, had pulled the reins back a little bit for, uh, for this episode. And they just kind of focus in on one thing with a little bit of background stuff, but I don't want there to be too major major like emotional journeys happening in one episode because that it's just not they're not long enough they're these episodes are not long enough to have two major emotional journeys happen so i don't want to waste any more time if you do want to see these early and uncut you can head over to patreon that is where they live um and i will be getting these out on youtube as quickly as i can but the editing is a monster um, Amazon is really cruel to me and they're like way meaner to me than they are to everybody else. Like I've seen a couple of other, um, like cuts of, of reactors and stuff. And like, I feel like they're allowed to put so much more in than me. And I'm like, I can't figure out the difference. So, okay. Let's, let us begin. Uh, Becky. Charlie. I'm just not quite understanding why it's not working. Okay. Okay. Think, Charlie. Think, 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 think. think. Okay. If I do this. Oh, that trust falls every single morning. We can do the <gasps> Come on, come on, come on, come on. I've been up all night trying to figure out why the hotel isn't working. We've done trust falls. We've tried sharing our feelings. We only have a couple months left before the angels come. Ah! And at this rate, maybe it's time. No. Okay. Yes. Don't say it. Your dad. <gasps> Charlie, I know you don't want to, but we need oh. every advantage we can get. He let the okay. extermination happen to begin with. They just had a meeting and said, go ahead and kill everyone. <gasps> Did they? Ooh, are we going to find out that that's not what happened? That could be interesting. Or is it like, did he do that because it was like one or the other? You know, like he didn't have a choice. Like everyone dies. Or are we going to come and kill a bunch of people? Like, did he kind of make that kill like not necessarily trading like deciding who's gonna die but like did he make a deal to at least save somebody you know i do feel though like if redemption were possible lucifer might be the one who knows about it it kill everyone no <laughs> you get me a meeting with heaven didn't we already try that well, yeah, with Adam, he was an asshole. But he isn't in charge of <laughs> he all was. of heaven. We could... What's the hold up? You got... She has the egg boys! No, we just have never been close. After he and mom split, he never really wanted oh, they split. to see me. He calls sometimes. Oh! He's bored or, or like, no. needs me to do something. Okay, so... Also, when is Nifty going to get a song? I'm seeing here that Kimiko Glenn is Nifty. When is she going to sing? I need Kimiko. Give me Miss Glenn, please. Thank you. Anyway. Um, okay, so I didn't realize that necessarily that Lucifer and Lilith had split. I was still thinking under the impression that they were together. Also, look at Sir Penchies' little anxious face. Give that man some chamomile tea. Um, but like, okay, that does change things just a little bit changes things a bit that they have that Lilith and Lucifer split up 
did that or or is it just because she left seven years ago like is that what charlie's talking about like they like well, it's not necessarily divorce it's lilith abandoned both of them and that hurt lucifer you know and so he like didn't want to see his daughter very much who looks exactly like lilith might be that it might be that Daughter, daughter calling. Oh, um, uh, hello, Charlie. Hey, hey, Char Char. No, no. Oh, he's not good. I feel oh, like he's trying. You. This has to be perfect. Hey, bitch. Hi, Dad. <laughs> hey, how are you? Oh, where, where, where are you these days? You know where I am, Dad. Uh, I told you when you called me five months ago. Or did you not listen? No, 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 no. Just, you know, just forgot. You know, I've just been really busy. Bing. Bing. Well, and rubber I'm ducks. actually running a hotel to rehabilitate sinners. Yes. Anything in my power is yours for the asking. You just name it. I need to speak to heaven. Oh, no. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. no yeah, no. 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 That's, uh, no. Look, Dad, I don't ask you for much. I never have, but this... This is really important to me. It's the most important thing I've ever done, and I need you. I need your help. Yeah, I, I don't know, Charlie. I mean, I can see why, like, he would not want his daughter talking to who's at top at heaven, because they're the ones who kicked him out, right? <laughs> like, he's not gonna wanna... He's not gonna wanna talk... Her to talk to them. They, they, they kicked him out. Okay, I mean, he's at least trying. I will Don't give him what I'm trying to do? props. You'll see why it's a really because he does seem to love her. Heaven is bound to agree if I get the chance to talk to them. Please, Dad. Wait, you're inviting me over? <laughs> My daughter wants to see me. Take that depression. Well, we have oh. until he gets here. Okay, everyone. It's showtime, Dad. Oh, it's so good to see you. Okay. <laughs> it's uh, good to see you too, Dad. <sighs> Welcome to Oh, he's so short. <laughs> hotel. Oh, this place sure looks, uh... Uh-huh. It's got a lot of character. Oh, what in the unholy hell is that? Just some of the renovations we had done. <laughs> and you are? Alistair. Pleasure to be meeting you, sir. Quite a pleasure. It's nice to finally put a face to the name. You are much shorter in real life. Oh, oh my God, Alistair. Are you the bellhop? Ah-ha, uh -huh, no. I am the host of the hotel. You might have heard of me from my radio broadcast. Hmm, nope. I guess that's why Charlie called it the Has-Been Hotel. Ha-ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> It was actually my idea. <laughs> well, it's not very clever. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you. Okay, okay. Anyway. Oh my God. Wow, Alistair has balls, dude. Also, very funny that Lucifer is just. <laughs> okay, there is a word I want to use, but. I will not say it out loud, on account of. You know. But he is, and it is funny to me. But, I mean, I do... So far, he's not the worst papa we've seen. He at least seems to care about Charlie. Even if he is bad at showing it. Charlie has a very unique vision. I am happy to fulfill her bizarre requests. Oh. You, Alice? <gasps> he's touching her. Oh. <laughs> Just to mess with him, but... <laughs> Charlie, dear, <laughs> why don't you introduce me to your other friend? This is Baggy. She's my girlfriend. Oh, my golly. You like girls. Yes, so do I. We have so much in common. You put her there, Maggie. And this is Sir Pentius and Angel Dust, our guests. Your Majesty! <laughs> Short King. <laughs> <laughs> Like you could use some help from the big boss of hell himself. Check out Daddy's glowing reviews on Yelp. Five star flawless. Really great. With a punch of a pentagram. A whack, bam, boom, a la kazam. Usually our charge a sacrificial lamb. But you get the family right. Thanks, Dad. Who needs a bus boy now that you got the chef? Wow. Michelin tasting menu free. A la carte. I'll rig the game for you because I'm the ref. 
champagne fountains, caviar mountains, that's just a star. Who's been here since day one? Who's been faithful as a nun? Who makes you chuckle with an old timey pun? Your executive producer. That's true! I'm your guy, your day to day, your chum, your steadfast hotelier. Remember when I fixed that corn today? I was stuck, thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm truly honored that we built such a bond. Aww. You're like the child that I wish that I had. <laughs> you just like a daughter I spawn. Hold on now. It's a little funny. You could almost call me Dad. <laughs> the fiddle of gold. <laughs> to pick the path of least resistance others say that in your needy hour there's no substitute for pure angelic power who just happens to also be your blood sadly there are times a birth parent is a dog they say the family you choose is better what a bunch of losers can you butt out of my song your song i started this i'm singing it i'll finish it are you tacky it's piece of me yes it's me Okay, yeah, absolutely. Mimsy! I also just Ooh. noticed that it's a boy song. Sign. Did you just hear me? Mimsy! Is it because I'm adorable? It is, you are. Also, okay, so what's with this Alistair suddenly wanting to be Charlie's dad? Or like, okay, I'm trying to like just parse his motivation right now. Is, is he feeling attacked because she doesn't think that he's powerful enough to actually help? Or does he think that Lucifer's gonna kick him out of the helping capacity? Like, why does... Why does he care? I mean, I'm not like mad about this weird rivalry, but is it just because Lucifer didn't know who he was and like made a, a kind of like con like a comment about like who are you? Also, I mean like okay, so Lucifer seems to not have any idea who like even the most famous sinners are. So he like stays well out of what is going on in general. So that's interesting. I guess he well, has he been locked up making rubber ducks for seven years and he just has no idea who anybody is. Um, I mean, I guess like, it makes a certain amount of sense he wouldn't want to like mingle. But also it's like he has clearly taken no interest in what is going on in hell in a long time if he doesn't know who either the radio demon or angel are. Um, but also I'm just like him and Alistair having this rivalry for who Charlie likes better. Uh, okay, I mean, like, both of them want to do something for her, but, like, because I, I understand that Alistair, I guess he wants to be in charge, right? Which is, like, I thought it was really funny. He's, like, patting her on the shoulder and, like, getting all close because Lucifer's been gone, I guess, and she went to Alistair first. So he's like, I was here when you were not here. All right, well, if y'all can think of Alistair's motivations for this particular, maybe, uh, maybe I'll come up with them later, but let me know as well. Like, what, what do you think about all of this fun stuff? Everyone is welcome here. Oh, how nice. So you two know each other? Oh, yeah, we go way back. We ran in the same circles when we were alive. As much as I'd love to catch up, Charlie and I have a tour to continue. So, uh, you and Alistair are like, what? We're gonna get the tea. A word, not mine, but I think it fits. <laughs> What's his deal? Well, you probably heard the story. Give me the tea. In hell, suddenly, making a splash quicker than anyone had ever seen. But soon, Overlord started going missing. No one knew what happened to him until these strange radio broadcasts started going out. All you could hear was screams. Dang. That's when Alistair revealed himself as the radio demon. And anyone that would mess with him, <laughs> well, let's just say his broadcast never lacked new voices. 
That was his radio show? Most people know. Okay, what's the real story? He's a total sweetie. Put on some jazz and pour a couple fingers of rye and he becomes a kitten. Okay. So we did get some possible backstory. At the very least, we got the propaganda backstory that, Mi that Mimsy seems quite willing to spread and share. But I, I like that we're getting some like, uh, just give him some rye and some jazz and he'll chill right on out. That's kind of funny. <laughs> All right. Also interesting that she knew him when he, she was al when he was alive, and so I'm curious: did she die first, and then then he died, and that's how she knows the whole story, or did she die later and she's just retelling the the story everybody knows? Thank you. We can really get it going. What is it? You and I both know Mimsy only shows up when she needs some time. It's nothing I can't handle. Don't worry, Husker. You may own my soul. But I ain't your fucking pet. <laughs> but you are. <laughs> Big talk for someone who's also on a leash. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> if you ever say that again, I will tear your soul apart and broadcast your screams for every other disrespectful wretch who dares to question me. Always nice to catch up. Oh, God. What do you think? About what? The hotel. You know, but I'm oh. thinking this railing needs work. One good push, and you just go right over the edge. Whoopee. Bye-bye. <laughs> what? No, no, the plan, Dad. What do you think about using the hotel to help sinners? Ah. All right. I mean, look, I love that you want to see the best in people, but these sinners, you know, they're just the worst. These I, are I... our people, Dad. I... I have to try. Our people, Charlie, are mm -hmm. awful. They got gifted free will, and look what they did with it. Everything's terrible. Like that. Oh. Mimsy, we know you're in. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this was from the. This was from the trailer. We I thought it had something to do with Angel, because I knew he had ties to mobs and stuff. These are loan sharks. It looks like. But also, uh, I thought maybe the V's might send the, them after, after we saw them introduced. But no, apparently, Mimsel. Also, it is very... I'm, I am enjoying this characterization of Lucifer. Um, and it's like they said at the beginning, like he's never been allowed to see the good in humanity again. Like he only sees the people like this. And so he keeps himself away from them. Makes sense. He's like, I hate this. You know, it feels like, I guess he feels like he gave humanity something amazing and beautiful and they tarnished it, you know? And so he's angry with them and he doesn't want to, he's not going to spend time with them because his hopes were just crushed. Also, who's got Alistair on a leash? Who's got Alistair? Because, like, if he did just come to power super quickly, he might have traded something immediately to get extra power, but now he's owned by somebody else, essentially. Which would make a lot of sense. I just wonder who it is. Is it Lilith, maybe? <laughs> is that why they both disappeared for seven years and then she sent him back here to help out her daughter? And that's why he's so, like intent on helping her because his overlord is like if you do not help my daughter get make this work then you're dead you know that's possible what's going on i may be in trouble with some loan sharks i may ah! my window you see this is exactly what i'm talking about charlie you build something nice you invite people in and offer them everything and they <laughs> and Mimsy, Nifty having a good time. They're always going to disappoint you. Uh, Nifty, come along. Ah! All of you, get a uh -huh. taste of I... It's time I remind everyone why I am here. Uh -huh. A reminder to all not to mess with the radio demon. Uh -huh. I will devour each and every one of you. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. He's so big! 
Sinners are violent psychopaths, hell-bent on causing as much pain and destruction as they can. He's defending this hotel. It may be a bit more sadistic than I hoped, but he's doing it for me. You <laughs> can have faith in me, but my own father can't. Ooh, zing! <laughs> I'm eating. I missed getting to let off steam. I think you should go, Mimsy. Now, I mean it. You deliberately brought danger to this place just to have me clean up your mess. I can't have that here. But what? You don't actually give a shit about this tacky place, do ya? Come on, I know you, you heartless son of a bitch. You are welcome if you actually want to give redemption a shot. But I think we both know that's not really your style. So you need to leave. <laughs> this is really getting good. <laughs> Dad? He's got the TV guide! Help me. I... I can't. Heaven never listens. They didn't listen to me. <laughs> they won't listen to you. you. You didn't know that when I tried this all before, my dreams were too hard to defend. And in the end, I won't lose it all again. Now you're the only thing worth fighting for More than anything More than anything I'll shelter and adore you more than anything Dad, when I was young I didn't really know you at all I always so small but I heard your stories and I was enthralled the tales about your lofty dreams I listened breathlessly imagining it could be me Too serpentious. I need to save my people more than anything. I've been dying to find out who you are. I've been waiting, wanting the same thing. Looks like the apple doesn't fall far. Took you a while. I've missed that smile. All, All that, that I'm, I'm hoping. hoping. Now, now that my Support your dream, whatever lies in store. And who could ask for more than anything? More than anything. More than anything. I'm grateful you're my daughter. More than anything. More than anything. Oh my god, that was really sweet. I'm gonna cry again. This time I'm gonna cry because I'm happy. That was really adorable. And I'm really glad that he wants to help. Like, I, I think that he always did. It was just he didn't know how to, how. I wonder if like Lilith taught Charlie kind of like, he's busy, leave him alone, you know? And so he never really got how to, got her. Um would be interesting if like Lilith is actually like a big bad you know that was a really sweet song <laughs> he's gonna help good oh that was sweet yes it was okay I can get you the meeting but once you're in heaven I won't be able to go with you will you yeah, be okay he's... I'll be fine that's my girl Good luck. Uh. 
This next part is gonna be scary. You ready? I'm ready, cause you'll be with me. In spirit, right? In heaven. <laughs> Yay! Maggie does not want to go. Oh my god! I liked that. Was sweet. That was really, really sweet. I wasn't. I mean, I was. I'm was hoping that based on how Charlie is. You know, I was hoping that Lucifer wouldn't be horrible um, because also it's just like there's, you know, the I feel like most of the parents in this show and in Hell of a Boss have been really awful. Like none of them have been good that we've met anyway. So I was really hoping that we would get something different here. And it seems like we did. And I'm really glad. And he seems to be wanting, willing to take steps to improve too, which is also really nice. Again, very funny, the instant rivalry between him and Alistair and like the fact that he just isn't, didn't do anything to Alistair. Cause it's like, he is still the most powerful being in all of hell, presumably. And yet he just let Alistair insult him and like <laughs> degrade him and stuff. Um, that's, I, I do, wonder now um if the reason Alistair like took such a hard line in this episode is because of whoever holds his leash you know um interesting too that Husk knows about this um because Alistair has made no uh secret of the fact that he thinks that this is silly and will not work until now when he might be putting on a show for Lucifer a little bit. Um, everything in Hell seems really performative, which I find interesting. Um, I know that it was based on like a circus, like the the three rings or whatever, except it's seven. But um, and Lucifer was as the ringmaster and all of that. But I, I do find it interesting, like everything in Hell is really performative. It's all layers within layers and lies within secrets. And all of that is very intriguing to me um so i am looking forward to uncovering some more of these mysteries and i'm looking forward to seeing lucifer again and when jeremy jordan starts to sing i melt so i like that he got two different types of songs in this one was like the big loud bombastic uh one that alistair just kind of stole um and then uh i like the uh the soft like loving one that he gets to share with charlie and like they taking they're taking steps forward in their relationship and i like also that it proves that he's never been like cold he's been distant but like he it wasn't necessarily because he is is a you know bad at uh, like a bad dad or bad at you know he loves her and he always has and i think that that and he always wanted to share his work with her um but lilith wasn't allowing so now I'm wondering, is Lilith the big bad? I think that would be interesting if Lilith is... And maybe she's also got, like, she wants hell to be better. And so she is... But she's... Or maybe maybe she got offered a deal that she would be allowed to go to heaven or something if she creates a situation wherein all of the demons die you know or maybe if she feels like if all of them are gone then something new could be rebuilt i don't know i'm putting a lot of if ands and what ifs here that i'm just throwing out nonsense um but i do think it's interesting that alistair suddenly has like such a abrupt turn into trying to make this like you can stay mimsy if you actually want to be redeemed if not you can go away so i wonder if we'll see her again hopefully we do um she's fun um and then <laughs> his like just eating people <laughs> i wonder what happens to that because the sinner demons are immortal right until unless they're killed with a blessed blade or unless they're killed by the executioners so it's like they come back right they like reconstitute I think. Um, so what happens if you get eaten by Alistair? That's what I want to know. But I, I really, I enjoyed that one. I thought it was fun. Um, I 
I'm really glad that Charlie and Lucifer got to reconnect and sort of restart over. I'm really glad that Alistair is like, I'm going to, this is me trying, you know, not trying to get redeemed, but like, I'm going to show support for Charlie. And again, I, I have to wonder if that's because that's the caveat. Maybe he can buy out his soul if he helps her with this, you know, like maybe that is the, this is the step that takes him to get out from under control of whoever's got him, you know? Which is the other reason I was thinking it might be Lilith, who's got his leash, you know? All right. Uh, no more speculation for this. I'm done. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can go ahead and look at, and you want to see these uh, uncut and unedited and early, you can go over to Patreon. We have them up there um, uh, for $2 a month. So, Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.